All right, let's take a look at the examples for the linear pairs lesson. Our first example, example A, asks us what the measure of each of the angles here is. So our two angles don't have any degrees with them. They are just uh, equations, or actually uh, um, expressions. We have 7q minus 46 and 3q plus 6. And what we do know is that AC is a line. Um, and if we know that AC is a line, then we know that this measure right here, and consequently the one above it that's the same, are both 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So since AC is 180 degrees, that means that these two angles right here are a linear pair, so they must total 180 degrees. That tells us that we could write 7Q minus 46 plus 3Q plus 6 equals 180 degrees because those two angles together have to total 180 degrees. Now we just combine like terms. We have 7 Qs here and 3 Qs here. That gives us a total of 10 Qs. And then we have negative 46 and positive 6. So that's negative 40. And that equals 180. Then we add 40 to both sides. And we'll have 10 Q equals 220. And then divide both sides by 10. And we get Q equals 22. So if Q is 22, then our first angle here, angle ABD, angle ABD is 7 times 22 minus 46. So 7 times 20 would be 140 plus 14 would be 154, minus 46 would be 108 degrees. Then angle DBC, angle DBC would be 3 times 22 plus 6, or 66 plus 6, 72 degrees. And since 72 plus 108 is 180, that tells us we got our answer right. So our angle A, B, D is 108 degrees. And our angle D, B, C, D, B, C is 72 degrees. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says our angle C, D, A, so let's get a color that shows up on that black a little better there. Angle C, D, A, and angle D, A, B, D, A, B, are they a linear pair and are they supplementary? Well, first of all, in order to be a linear pair, they have to be adjacent to each other, right? That we said that was the difference between just supplementary angles and linear pairs. So they have to share a side. Now these two sort of share a side. I mean they both use this this DA right here, but they aren't sharing that side. They they both use it for an outside angle. They if uh, DCA were over here like this, so that those two actually shared that side, it was the side between them then those would be considered a linear pair, assuming they added up to 180 degrees. But since they aren't sharing that side, it's not the angle in or the side in between the two, they can't be a linear pair. So they are not a linear pair. Um, are they supplementary? Well, if they're supplementary, that just means they equal 180 degrees. They don't have to be don't have to have that shared uh, middle side. So since 120 plus 160 is 180, plus 160, I'm sorry, plus just 60, sorry, plus 60 is 180, then yes, they are supplementary. Okay, and let's take a look at example C. Example C says find the measure of an angle that forms a linear pair with MRS if MRS is 150 degrees. So we have an angle, and it's 150 degrees, so it's something like 
this m r s and it's 150 degrees and what we want is the angle that forms a linear pair with it so we want this angle over here and we know that 150 added to that angle has to be 180 so this angle over here must be 30 degrees.